Alright guys, in this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make this super simple but clean looking liquid style outro in After Effects. Now we'll be going through the basics of the 3D features in After Effects and also applying some of the previous knowledge you may have learned from the liquid intro video. So I hope you find this video somewhat helpful and I really hope you enjoy. Smiling like I'm on a private dollar shipping cold ones. Why you always trying to fight about some other stuff? I can tell you got Alright, so once you open up After Effects, go ahead and create a new composition. Name it anything you would like and change your width to 1920, height 1080. I'll be using 60 frame rate and 10 seconds for your duration. So before you do anything, go ahead and click window and click project. And if this is checked, make sure to go to your project tab, right click new composition and name it logo BG and then make this 400 and 400. And then just don't change any of the other settings and click OK. So this is where we're going to be adding our logo. Alright, so now that we've got our logo on our composition, just go ahead and resize it as the way you would like. You can just click it and resize it while pressing shift just like so. Or you can press S while selecting the layer and moving this around to change the size. Now go ahead and go back to your comp 1. And if you would like to rename your composition, just go ahead and go to project tab, right click comp 1 and composition settings and just rename it as the way you like. I'll be naming it main. And then what you want to do is start off by creating a nice circle. So we're going to be doing that by long clicking this little area right here and dragging your mouse down to the ellipse tool. And then all you want to do is while pressing shift, you want to just drag it across the screen and create a nice circle. And then choose any color you would like by clicking here and just go ahead and click OK. Now go ahead and select your move tool once again by clicking V on your keyboard, select your layer, and then go ahead and hit Y on your keyboard. And while pressing Alt and you're using your scroll wheel, go ahead and zoom into your composition just like so. And while using your Y tool, which is the anchor tool right here, just go ahead and hit Y and then move your anchor point while pressing Ctrl on your keyboard. So it goes to the center of the circle. Now go ahead and click this button and click Fit to go back to your normal size. Now go ahead and hit V again and then pull out your align tab. If you don't have it, just go ahead and go to window and then click align right here and it should pop up. Select your layer, hit align horizontally right here and align vertically right here. Now it will center the actual shape. Now that you've got a nice circle on your composition, all you gotta do is press S on your keyboard while selecting the layer. Go to the very start of your composition and change the scale to 0%. Press this little stopwatch icon right here. Move your time indicator to around 1 second and 15 milliseconds. And then go ahead and drag this little percentage part so that this circle covers up the entire screen. Now that you've got that done, all you want to do is select these keyframes like this. Hit F9 on your keyboard to enable easy easing for these keyframes. Click your graph editor right here. Right click and then open your speed graph right here. Now select these two points just like so and then all you want to do is pretty much move these two yellow dots to each other so that it's a bit more closer to each other. And now that you've got that done you can close out of your graph editor, go back and see what you made. I think it looks really smooth. Next we're going to be using the actual liquid effect. So to give our circle that nice liquid effect, we're going to be using an effect called turbulent displace. Go ahead and go to your effects and presets tab. Again, if you don't have it, click window and search effects and presets right here. Now go to the search bar and search turbulent displace. Now all you want to do is drag turbulent displace onto your circle. As soon as you drag your turbulent displace, it will start looking like an actual liquid shape. So what you want to do is go back to 0 seconds and preview your animation. I think it looks really nice. And if you would like to change the look of the liquid effect, you can change the amount and size and maybe play around with the evolution if you'd like. But all you have to do is just apply this effect. Next, we'll be moving on to the background creation. Go ahead and go to your project tab right here once again and then select your logo BG composition and go ahead and drag it onto your composition just like so. And make sure to put this above the shape layer 1 or else it will not work. And if it looks like this, you're doing a great job. Just go ahead and follow my instructions. If you're having any kind of problems in this stage of the video, go ahead and join our Discord server. We have a lot of staff members there to help you out. So please feel free to join if you like. So once you've done that, all you want to do is select your logo BG layer, go to the effects and presets tab and search motion tile. 
now that you've done that all you want to do is drag this onto your logo bg layer and all you want to do is pretty much increase your output width and output height to around a thousand now that you've done that all you want to do is select your logo bg layer again hit t on your keyboard to open up the opacity tab and just go ahead and lower it down to around 20 should be good and this is obviously your choice you can change the opacity as the way you like it now if you want to change the spacing of the logos all you want to do is go to your logo bg layer again right here and then just change the size once again just go ahead and lower it just like so go back to your main project file and then the sizes and the spacing should be a bit different now that you've done that all you want to do is select your logo bg layer once again hit r on your keyboard and then just go ahead and change the rotation just a tiny bit like so. And then what I'm going to do is select the layer once again. Hit P on your keyboard. And then go ahead and go to the very start of your composition. Hit the keyframe button right here. And then all you want to do is just move this little box right here to the very left bottom just like so. And then all you want to do is go to the very end of your composition once again. 10 seconds. And then you want to move this to the right top just like so so it makes like a nice diagonal line and make sure that you position it well so it doesn't show the cut position right here just go ahead and move it back just a tiny bit so it's perfectly aligned right there so i just found a little cutout place right here so i'm going to move my keyframe back right here to the very start and then just move this to the right a bit okay so it's looking pretty good again if you want to change the speed of this background uh speed all you want to do is go to the very end go to the keyframe you placed at the very end and then just move it back just a tiny bit if you want it to go slower. And then it should go slower. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be doing is only showing this logo background when this blue thing is showing. So we don't want it to show when the black thing is showing behind, right? So what we're going to do is pretty much duplicate the shape layer right here. So go ahead and select it. Control D on your keyboard and it should make another shape layer too. Now all you want to do is click toggle switches slash modes right here until it shows the track mat option right here. Once you see the track mat option right here at the tab, go ahead and move your shape layer 2 above logo BG. Now all you want to do is select your logo BG layer, look at the track mat option right here where it says none, we're going to change it to alpha mat. Now go ahead and preview your animation. Awesome! Alright, good job. You've got the base of the animation done. And now all you have to do is make the 3D part of your logo and you're done. So to make the actual 3D logo flipping animation, we're going to need to bring our logo once again to our main composition. So I have my main big logo right here. Go ahead and select your logo layer. Press S on your keyboard and just go ahead and position it and scale it down to whatever you would like. Next, go ahead and click toggle switches slash modes until you see these three options. And all you want to do is hit this little cube icon. Now that you've got that, you should be seeing all these very complicated looking things. Don't worry, I'll be guiding you guys step by step. Go ahead and select your logo layer. While pressing shift, press P, and then it should show up a position layer right here. Now all you want to do is move your time indicator to around 1 second and 30 milliseconds. And click the stopwatch icon for position, scale, and Y rotation. Now all you want to do is move your time indicator back to 0 seconds and then go ahead and change your scale to 0. Just go ahead and change one of them and it should change all of them. Now all you want to do is select only the scale keyframes right here as you can see right here and then all you want to do is hit F9 on your keyboard just like you did before. Open up your graph editor and then we're going to be doing the same exact thing we learned before. All you want to do is select these two keyframes and then what we're going to do is just move these two yellow dots together just like so. Now that you've done that, just go ahead and exit out of Graph Editor and preview your animation. Perfect. Alright, so it's looking pretty good now, but we're going to be doing the actual difficult part of the animation. We're going to be playing around with the 3D orientation keyframes. So we're going to be moving our time indicator just one keyframe to the right right here. And if you want to zoom into your time indicator, just go ahead and press Alt and then scroll wheel. And then you will zoom in to the actual time indicator. And then what you want to do is just go ahead and move one keyframe to the right, just like so. Or you can use your page up and down keys to move key frame by frame. So once you move one keyframe to the right, go ahead and select this little diamond icon right here as you can see. This diamond button, click that. Click that and click that for your position, scale, and Y rotation. Now all you want to do is move back a bit to the time indicator. Again, you want to use your alt key and scroll wheel. All you want to do is move your time indicator to a bit later. 2 seconds and 10 milliseconds should be good. Maybe a bit more actually, 2 seconds and 30 milliseconds. Pretty much 
position your logo first of all while pressing shift you just want to move it up like so and then you want to change your scale just like so and then what you want to do is go to your y rotation keyframe right here and where it says 0x just make it 1x so that's basically telling after effects for you to spin the logo once a one full turn now all you want to do is scroll back up again just like so your alt key and scroll wheel go back to zero seconds and preview your animation okay so it's looking really wonky right now but that's because we didn't easy ease it and change our keyframes so all you want to do is scroll back in once again using your alt key and scroll wheel select these six keyframes one two three four five six for your position scale y rotation make sure to not select these because they're really close to each other you might accidentally select them but don't all you want to do is select these hit f9 on your keyboard once again go to your graph editor you want to move this to a bit to the left and you want to move this to the bit to the right make sure the tip of this graph is at the very center right here and it should be looking good go ahead and exit out of your graph editor zoom back out and preview your animation awesome so that's pretty much it for today's tutorial if you would like go ahead and search up drop shadow and actually add a nice drop shadow to your logo right here playing around practicing is the best way to actually learn after effects so go ahead and play around with everything Go ahead and join our Discord server if you run into any problems while making this animation, link in the description. If you would like the project file for this animation we made today, go ahead and go to my website and go to Arial Plus. Uh, you can get many project files for my videos, not just this, but other animations such as the liquid intro and all the other good stuff. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading too much lately. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much and have a good one. Bye.